We have set up our customers in FBO Director, and one of the things that our customers may have are credit card payment numbers on file. So to set up cards on file for each of your customers, go to Customers, Payment Card on File, and the first step in doing this is to capture the card. If you have a swiper and it's a bank card, you can go ahead and swipe that value or click on enter card manually and type in the card number. In this case, I'm using a multi-service card. So we're often asked, multi-service cards don't have some of this information, what do we do? Go ahead and just choose an arbitrary month or year, but do not exceed 2029. There's some limitations on certain gateways if that value is entered that it could cause problems. And I know multi-service cards do not have a CVV. The same holds true if you're actually entering bank cards and you plan to use the bank card more than 30 minutes from now you can enter any CVV value you desire. Type in a name for the customer. And the reason for doing that is we actually have the ability to somewhat browse the vault and see customers by name, but that information will cross over when we process payments. And then the billing zip code that goes with that. Click Save Credit Card. You return to this screen and now select the customer who the card belongs to. I'm in a different database right now for demonstrating this to you. So I only have one customer and ordinarily you would not select valued customer and you would want to select a tail number for that card on file. We also advise customers, it's best to select one or the other customer code or tail number. You don't want to select both because that tends to merge the card into two records because we create a union of the data set. Once you've selected the customer and the and associated it with a tail number or a customer code, go ahead and select attach card and you'll know that the card on file is now here and available. If you're curious, how does this work? I'm going to go ahead and quickly demonstrate an invoice. And again, in this case, bad example, it was valued customer, but I have my valued customer and you'll see a new box right here that appears, pay with card on file. If we run this transaction all the way through, we can use that card number. It's on the ticket and you would just click pay with card on file. Finish the transaction like you normally would. I'm going to skip the app trip points and notice that the screen appears and then blanks. It's recording the changes to the ticket because that processed all the way through without your CSR having to enter that and the transaction's complete. We can see that that particular multi-service card ending in 0049 was used on the transaction. And that is how we set up a card on file in FBO Director.